In this problem, we're going to prove that the product of two odd functions is even. Let's go ahead and go through the proof, so proof. So we'll start by assuming that we have um, two odd functions. So suppose that, uh, say f and g, let's give them names, are odd. And you know the natural thing to do now is to explain what this means. What does it mean for a function to be odd? Let's go ahead and write that down. So this means, well, a function is odd, in particular f is odd, means that f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. And this has to be true for all x. And also g is odd. So that means that g of negative x is equal to minus g of x. And this also has to be true for all x. So we've written down our assumption, we've written down what it means. Now we need, to, we, need to stick, we need to take a step back and think about what we're really trying to show. We're trying to show that the product is even. So what does it mean to be even? Well, a function is even, I'll write it up here, if whenever you plug in minus x, you get f of x. And this has to be true for all x. So this is what it means for a function f to be, to be even, okay? So in this case, we have to show that the product is even. So what is the product? The product is fg, and it takes an element x, and it gives you f of x times g of x. So we have to make sure that this is even. So what we'll do is we'll replace this x with negative x. So then fg of negative x, this is equal to, well, using the definition of the product, this is f of negative x times g of negative x. What is f of negative x? Well, that's going to be negative f of x because we have it here. And that's because f is odd. What is g of negative x? Well, that's negative g of x. And that's because it's here, and that's because g is odd. So this is because f, g are odd. And then negative and negative is positive, so this is f of x times g of x. And by definition of multiplication, this would be just f, g of x. And this is true for all x. So we started with two functions that were odd, and we showed that f, g of negative x equals f, g of x. So this is what it means for the product to be even. So fg is even. And that completes the proof.